So, after you make the good decision to purchase your Minimax and we ship it to you, most likely through UPS Ground, you'll receive a box that looks like this. It will have stickers on it. I forgot to bring them. Uh, my apologies, it'll have this side up stickers. Um, heavy lift and, and that type of thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dissect this, get your machine out, to assemble it once everything's out. It's very easy to do. Um, and let's go through this and show you what to do when you receive your machine. You'll need a knife or a razor. And you're going to, this will, this will probably have two plastic bands and one this way. I couldn't get them in the vehicles. So um, I didn't put them on, but they'll have some type of tape like this securing it. And they'll probably have two plastic bands, three plastic bands that you're just going to simply cut off. So let's, let's just go all the way around. Remove our cap. And one thing, should there be any damage on this machine, save every bit of packaging material. If, if you get it and there's a big hole in the box, I've packaged this in a way that there's cavities and there's areas um, that makes it hard to actually get to the machine. So, but if there's a hole in the box, you need to note it. Uh, you need to take pictures of it and you need to contact UPS and me and let us know. And you have to save the packaging material. If you don't, I can't help you if there's damage. UPS is going to want to come out and do an inspection and they're going to want to see the packaging and how it was packaged. And if you don't have it, uh, then the insurance that's put on this, it only covers $99. Okay, so then it's your machine. So you have to save the packaging. It's very important. Okay, so let's pull out the next piece. There's an inner cap. This is very, very strong. And there's two small boxes just to support the handle. If you can look in here, I know you're tiny. <laughs> my, camera, my camera lady's 4 foot 11. There's a big box in here. This contains some of the parts for the machine, um, your, your jug, uh, your um, extension cord. So don't just throw this big box out. There's things in here that you need. So we're going to pull this out. Got heavier. Let's pull out what's inside first. So you're going to have your water jug. And you're going to have another small box that we'll get to in a minute. So put this over here. We're going to cut the bottom tape. And now we're going to lift off the big square tube. The other thing that's in here is your pad drive. And you have your machine. We'll take off. The foam. We'll take off the foam here. And there she is. So simply, whoop, let's tighten her handle up, just lean her back, pick her up. We're going to put the jug back in. Whoop, no we're not because we didn't put the arm back on. Let's do the pad drive first so it's not sitting on the motor hub. When we ship it, it's sitting on these really heavy cardboard tubes. And that supports the chassis that lifts the wheels and lifts the hub and lifts everything off of the ground. And under this box, there's another box. And under that box, there's another box. So we put a lot of layers of protection on here for you. I'm going to tilt this back. We'll sit it on our bumper foot. Put on the pad drive, tilt her back up, 
And now, I'm going to open this up. And we're about five minutes from being finished here. So your power cord is in here. And your cradles and your wheels. So you're going to pull out your wheels. You're going to select the tip. I would start with the red tip. You'll twist that on. Done. Make sure you don't lose the blue one. Lift up the washers. Drop on your wheels. Now these are a threaded insert nut. So you're going to want to tighten it down until you get into the, uh, the nylon of the insert. And that'll keep it from vibrating off. Just give them a couple turns, just so it's not rattling. And we're going to pull out. If you purchased the the spotter caddy. That'll be in here. If you didn't, then obviously it won't. And let's see here. I'm going to just open this up the easy way. That's better. I'm going to pull this out. What's happening? There's a, there's a cap on the end of this axle, and that's just grabbing that a little bit. And the bag's slippery, so it makes it a little hard to get it out. There we go. Whoops. Now we'll pull the pin out. There'll be a washer here. So depending if you're using this or uh, not using it, this will be configured differently. This is configured for this, so you have one uh, rubber washer, so this doesn't smack against um, the frame here. And we're going to slide this through. We're going to put on the nylon spacer, and you're attached. Now all you have to do is put in the jug. Install our tubing through the little quarter inch hole. And your Minimax is done. So if you have any questions, please give us a call and uh, be happy to help you. It doesn't take very long at all to receive this, but again, I can't stress enough, save your packaging for a few days. That way if there's anything wrong with the machine, if it needed to come back, you have the packaging. If it was damaged during shipping, there's proof of how it was packaged, because without that, I can't make a claim on the insurance on the machine. Um, happy to help you. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a call, and uh, we appreciate your purchase, and we trust you'll have years of uh, wonderful experience cleaning and making money with the new Minimax. Take care.